Working out on the treadmill sucks, but there's this company out there that's trying to make a treadmill that doesn't suck. They also gave me this hat. Is that all it took to buy you? A hat? Can you just relax? Can you at least take it off for the video? Okay, fine. So this company is called Wahoo. They're based in Atlanta and later this year are coming out with the Kicker Run, which is a specialized treadmill that can go super fast, that adjusts to your speed in real time, and that connects you with runners from across the world. So I had the chance to do an early test of the Kicker Run treadmill and figured I'd share my thoughts here. Essentially, is this better than a regular treadmill? And if so, how? And also, is it worth the price point? So it all started at Boston Marathon weekend as I walk into one of these fancy running pop-up shops where there's a bunch of shoes on the walls and two fancy treadmills at the back end of the store. There's a guy holding a clipboard who comes up to me as he sees and I'm looking at these treadmills and says, on these treadmills, you can run a four minute mile. And I said, geez, I can't even do that on land. Then the man gives me a pair of Hoka Skyward X running shoes, turns the treadmill on and shows me its two features. The first is the default features, which basically makes the kicker run operate like a regular treadmill. And then the second one is the run free feature, which I'll let running Alex explain. So when I'm on run free mode, if I pick it up, the treadmill goes faster. If I slow down, the treadmill goes slower and I go near the back. So it's a learning curve at first because you're trained to think that if you're running super quickly on a treadmill and then slow down, you're gonna fall off the back. This has sensors and lasers at the front that caps your speed. So if I slow it down, the treadmill also slows down. And if I wanna go faster and pick it up, the treadmill also picks it up and I go closer to the front. So there's no risk of falling behind the treadmill. And also, if I wanna rip a really good interval workout, it'll follow me. So if I wanna go five minute miles for a minute, and then recovery for a little while, it can follow me through it. So it's more like running on the road. So before all this, I had two gripes with treadmills. The first one is that they're pretty crappy workout partners. For one, the speed is limited. Okay, are you done flexing? Some of us have plans tonight. And also, because a treadmill forces you to set a pace, they're not really conducive to natural speed increases or decreases during a workout. You just park it on eight miles an hour and then you keep going, whether or not you start feeling better or worse. And sure, you can manipulate the speed if you consciously feel like you're going too fast or too slow, but in the end, you're responding to the treadmill. It's not responding to you. And the kicker run kind of addresses that. And then my second gripe with treadmills are that they're boring. And Wahoo seems to have an answer for that too. This treadmill connects with a bunch of apps. So right now it's connected to Zwift on TV. Very popular with cyclists. So I can see myself running on the screen. I get, I get my mile pace. I get the paces of everyone else. And I also get a custom route. So when Zwift sends me on an incline, the treadmill caps it and also goes on an incline. And it's very natural. So I could be running at like seven minute miles and Zwift sends me up a hill, it slows me down, and then if I go downhill, I'm, pick I'm picking it up at 5.45s, 5.30s. So it's a very immersive experience. Of course, at one point on the treadmill, I figured I had to put it to the test. I was curious to see, can this thing really go at four minute per mile pace? Okay, I'm gonna click on run free and use my momentum to try to get myself to a four minute per mile pace and the treadmill should be able to sustain that. <laughs> I don't know if I'll be able to sustain that. I saw 359, is that why? I, I beat it, I beat the game. So that speed test confirmed it. The kicker run decidedly does not suck as much as other treadmills, but what does that mean? Hmm. When it hits the market later this year at a price point likely approximating $5,000, should people pull the trigger and buy it? Here are a few reasons why I would consider buying the treadmill. 
For one, the speed is pretty impressive. It's very rare to find a treadmill that can actually sustain four minute per mile pace. And if you plan to train hard during the winter and have no place to do it, well, then the kicker run might be very valuable for you. Another positive here is the variability of workouts that the kicker run allows for. So I don't know about you, but I have two treadmill workouts in my arsenal. The tempo run, where I just park it at nine or 10 miles an hour and stick it there for the entire run, or the progressive run, where I hit the button every two to three minutes to slowly increase the pace until the end. Pretty boring. With the kicker run, you can do fartlek workouts, you can do interval training a lot easier, and I'm guessing that variability would make winter workouts a little bit more palatable. Another good thing I like about it is the landing strip, for two reasons. One, it's a lot more quiet than other treadmills. If I go into a gym and I plan to do a hard workout, I'm making so much noise because a lot of these treadmills are not made for fast running. Another nice little trick about that landing strip is that you can set it to tilt a tiny bit from side to side to emulate that road feeling. Sounds a little counterintuitive, but think about it. When you're running outdoors, every landing is a tiny bit different. You're not always landing on a flat surface. And then there's Zwift. Now, apparently the kicker runs connects to a whole bunch of apps, but we've only tried Zwift. And it does make the run go by a little bit faster. You look at yourself on the screen, you're running alongside and past other runners, going up and down hills and feeling those intensity changes on the treadmill. It's no replacement to a real run, but it's better than looking at the wall. Now, my only con with this treadmill is that sometimes it felt hard to properly accelerate. There seemed to be a little lag between my decision to run faster and moving my legs and the treadmill actually responding to what I was doing. So that made me go a bit too close to the front. Now, I was a beginner with this treadmill and I was told that I was already running too close to the front to start off with, so maybe a user error. And it got easier as I went on. So there's a bit of a learning curve there to be had. If you do get the treadmill, I would advise you to start with an easy run and then eventually go into little workouts and then only after a few trials crank out a hard workout. And of course, that's all in the run free mode. So if you're not into any of that, you can always park it on the default mode and then it operates like a regular treadmill. So my overall take on the kicker run is that it is a very attractive product for serious runners who want to go fast and who for some reason are planning to do a lot of their runs indoors. It's not for everyone. See, me, I prefer to be tough and brave the elements, but this guy is definitely a treadmill guy. Huh? See what I mean? Am I kidding? I'm not a hat guy.